M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's create a code plug from scratch for the Anytone 578. So we've gone to BridgeCon Systems here and grab their current CPS, uh, which we have here. Let's just find that. There you go. So first thing is get our DMR number in there. So double click digital here. Where is it? Radio ID and double click that and then we're going to put in my DMR number which is 2341437. You are going to need this to so register for a DMR number and then we'll just get my call sign in there and you do need to have a ham call sign to use DMR. So let's delete that M0FXB. Okay, that's great. Now let's create our first channel. So go to the top here, it says channel double click we've got a couple of channels there and let's create our let's just do our hotspot for now so we'll call it hotspot and we'll call it a pi because I have a pi jumbo hotspot and um, we'll keep the frequencies as they are no point changing them because just demonstration so frequencies are in and we now need to have a contact for our channel so at the moment it's selected at contact one which is not really what we want so we'll okay that for now um, and what we're going to do is going to go to uh, contact, where is it? Let's find the contacts. Contact talk groups. Right, here we go. So there's number one is in there. I want to create just two for now, 91 and 9. So we'll go 91 and at the top we'll give it the name. So we've clicked underneath number one to create a new one and we're going to call it. And remember, the name isn't important. Actually, what is important is the DMR ID number. But we're going to call it 91 worldwide. You can download this list of of numbers um, but I'm just uh, teaching you how to program a channel from scratch so 91 worldwide like so and then we've got to put in the number of the talk group which is 91 really important and then group core as well click OK so we've created that channel and then I want to just create another one number 9 so we're going to copy it same and paste it underneath so then we've got the same uh, in, um, what do you call it um, Oh, sorry, forget I said that. So we didn't need to copy and paste that. Well, let's just double click it and just go um, local nine. And then the number is really important, nine. Okay, click OK. Now, the copy and paste was meant to be here. So like that, select the line. So we clicked back on channels, select the line here, copy, and then click underneath and then click paste underneath paste so then we've got all the same frequencies in there we just need to change the, the contact and the name so the name is going to be called local 9 local 9 is a way of using uh, where you can pro just push the buttons on the keypad of your DMR radio and manually dial talk groups using local 9 so local 9 just talks to your hotspot it doesn't talk outside of your hotspot um, so local 9 and we need to go contact and here it is local 9 okay and then we're going to choose slot 1 and leave it as slot 1 for local 9 for now. Everything else to me looks fine. We're not going to use groups. Um, so it all looks fine. Just looking around. Anything obvious to change. Transmit power. I suppose we don't need high. We can put that to medium. TX permit. Bandwidth. Yeah, all looks slots. Receive. Yes, yeah, so that looks fine. So we need to put these channels into a, a talk group, really. I'm going to click one more channel. Um, so we're going to for my open slot, so copy, and then we're going to paste underneath, paste, we're going to double click it, but this time we're going to call it open spot, spot 3 we have, and we are going to choose a different frequency, just to show you that it is on a different frequency, okay, like so, and it is a simplex frequency for a jumbo hotspot. If obviously if it was a repeater, you'd have shifts here, different frequencies, like so. And again, we'll just le leave that on nine because we can use talk group nine on our open spot three. So open spot three, all looks good. Click OK. So we've created three channels. We want to put them into a zone that we can find on our radio. So double click zone, double click here, and let's call this zone my hotspots. 
There you go, my hotspots. And let's send these three channels that we just created into that zone. So what will happen, click OK. So what will happen is when we turn our radio on, there'll be a zone. Now obviously we can have multiple zones. So let's create another zone here. We'll double click zone here. And we're underneath my hotspots, we'll create this one to be called my, we'll just call it analog. So not digital. Um, repeaters, just REP. Like so, and we'll click OK. Uh, we didn't set. Well, you have to send a channel in, or it won't save it. So, my let's just call it repeaters, yeah. And then we'll send one of these channels in, and then we'll click OK. So we've now got two zones. When we turn the radio on, we'll be able to go up and down with the arrows and choose different zones. And say, for example, if we want to create a, a repeater channel, we can just go like this. Double click underneath, say number six, with the blank channel. We can say put something in like GB3WR, WR like that, and then we'll put the frequency of the receiver of WR is um, what we can hear. So that's 145.600. And when we TX, there's a six megahertz split. So it's be 145.000. There's our split. Now it's not a digital channel, so we go here analog, and which means we have to select the CTCSS. So the bandwidth is fine, high power for I think, because to get the range. So we just now need our CTCSS. So where is it? Uh, right, let's find that. Okay, found it. Blind as a bat. So there you are, CTCSS. We're going to do. TX and RX and then for that repeater it's 94.8 94.8 so we've got our CTS in there high power frequencies it's all in there and we'll click OK we now have an analog channel so what we can do is go to zones here on the left go to my repeaters and we can add GB3 WR into that channel like so we don't need this channel here anymore we can click it and go back and obviously we could add lots more re FM analog repeaters here as well so okay so now we've got two zones one with dig my, my hotspots in here three hotspots one with my repeat my analog repeater in could be a long list and all we got to do then is send it to our radio because we've done our DMR number so we just save that file somewhere so we don't lose it so let's just save it to my any tone 578 file which is here 578 click open we can name it if we want new 578 maybe give it a date January 2022 so we know when we made it save and now we can send it to our radio now my, I haven't got a 578 but if you did have it you'd find it the, the 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 com we'd have to set the com first so to do that right click here and go to device manager and it will show you where you've connected so make sure you've downloaded the USB driver for the 578 and it will come up here and it will be something like GD32 or something like that so remember that number and then select the com here set com choose that number close it and then go right to radio and that's it so in the next video I'll probably show you how to load a whole code plug that's been sent to you for someone like Martin Lynch, Moonraker, Radio World, Lamco and then how to just tweak it and just tweak it most of us just need to add our hotspot when we've got one of these borrowed uh, code plugs because all the frequencies are already in there so I hope this helps, it's been fun, this is 7.3 please like and subscribe to my channel and catch you on air, all the best